Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good, very good. What about you? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And you? Yes, of course. Let's okay. do this. All right. What is I... new? Huh? What is new? Well, it's Friday and business has business has been good. Hello, good evening, Cesar. Okay. Hello, Elvis. Very good, very good. Hi, guys. Good evening, guys. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, Gladys. Oh, uh, well, I had some contracts. Good evening. So I was ready to, hello, good evening. I was able to close some deals, so it was good. It was good. All right, we're going to get started, guys, and we're going to be looking at a review. This is coming from the previous class. It's only a, a short review. Be able to ask and Please answer. Please listen. Can everybody hear? Yes, and no questions. And WH Can questions everybody hear? using the verb to be in the past. Yes. For yes. Example, right. be able to ask the following questions. Yes. Were okay. you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question, and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be, and I'm going to go ahead and color this and let's say uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in let's say red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the verb to be here. And then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. OK. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if you look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I change the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here, we can um, use names instead of the pronouns. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc. So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions 
is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to um, be included at the very beginning. And everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word. And then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we're, let me write the same one there, where the bird to be. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH question simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. All right. So right now, does anybody have questions in regards to this topic? Do you have any questions in regards to this topic? Nobody? OK. We're going to look at the first practice for today, which is going to be coming from the next section. We're going to be working from section 1.8. I know some people already did the activity. If you already did the activity, that's okay. You can continue with the next activity. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Eh, se supone que para esta semana, este día, ya tendríamos que haber terminado la sección 1 y la sección 2. Correct. Correct. Ah, ok. Porque ahora en un mensaje de WhatsApp, um, aparecía, aparecía que solamente la sección 1. Y ya nos, envían, nos enviaron un... un un mensaje diciendo que la sección 1 y 2 y la próxima semana la 3 y el midder that's right, that is correct ok, that is correct, thank you yes, thank you All right. you're going to work in pairs you can share your screen. Let's go, Irma. Let's go, Carmen. Let's go, Jaime. Sí, teacher. Eh, usted está trabajando con Brian y Jaime. Bueno, está bien. Es que no entendí muy bien en la plataforma. Vamos a trabajar. Yes, that is correct. Okay. 
Solo falta Carmen Guadalupe. Uh, this, this is the one point A. No will check. Cecilia. Hola, hola, si aquí estoy. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces, number one. Uh -huh. uh, which, which option is a correct way to answer the question? Uh -huh. Were you a good student in high school? In my case, I put yes, I, I was. was. Mm -hmm. sí. uh, read number two. Mm -hmm. You read number two. Uh, put this word in the correct order. You were well sitting in this. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. el orden correcto. Yeah, the answers were to work in the city. Okay. And number three, for a question to match these answers. My, my favorite subject were math and science. Mm -hmm. The answer I put, what were your favorite subject in school? Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 Aquí estoy. ¿Sí? <risa> Hola. Hi. Hi. Y el continuo yo la cuatro. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. Silvia. Ah, ok. Sorry, Silvia. <risa> Which is correct? When was Peter Paul? When was it? Okay. Uh, number five. Choose the Silvia. best. Choose the best question to match this response. I was uh, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. How old were you in 100? No. <laughs> No, um, ya no sé cómo se dice. Lighting. <laughs> Lighting. Pero ese es el mil. Cecilia de Pérez. How do you say? How do you say the number? Lighting. Quiero ver. Eighteen. Nineteen. Ninety-nine. And uh, one thousand. No es. One thousand. Ajá. Así es. Correcto. <ríe> Correcto. One thousand. Ajá. Cecilia. Pero yo creo que se puede leer de la otra forma también. Como leer de par en par. No. No, porque acuérdese la teacher del, del módulo pasado. Nos pegaba nuestras regañadas. Ajá, sí. De verdad. Dijo que así en pareja no era correcto. No, vaya. Entonces, ¿cómo es? Eh, repeat, Silvia, please. Okay. En, en esa es que yo me había confundido. This is called to all you don't
Eso no tiene ninguna duda. Sí, yo estaba Vamos con una. Ahí está el teacher. All right, let me have Zuleima Rivera, number one. Okay, teacher, I'm finished. Yeah, teacher. All right, thank you, Aleli. Go ahead, Aleli, read the first one. Is one, um, which option is correct way to answer the question? Were you good and student in high school. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. It's correct. Aleli, select somebody. Um, Elvis. Elvis and Ivo. Elvis, number two. Okay, number two. Put these words in the correct order. You born where city in this? Uh, answer correct is number three. Where you born is in the city. Excellent. Were you born in this city is correct. Elvis, select somebody. Okay. Let me see. Silvia Menendez. Okay. Mm -hmm. Silvia Menendez, number three. Okay. For a question to match this answer, my favorite subject were math and science. Um, what were you born, your favorite subject in a school? Correct. What were your favorite subjects in school is correct. Thank you, Sylvia. Select somebody, please. Um, Jonathan Serpas. Jonathan Serpas, number four. Which is correct? How many was Peter born? When was Peter born? Where was Peter born? Is let it be when was Peter born? When was Peter born? Is correct. Select somebody, Jonathan. Is Cesar Alexander. Cesar what? Alexander. What question? You are going to do number five, please. Five. Yes. Choose the best question to match the response. I guess 15 year old. How old, how old were you in 1929? Uh, pardon, uh, 19 99. 1999, very good. Okay, Co correct. How old were you in 1999? Okay, 1999. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to this vocabulary, the grammar, pronunciation? Questions? Questions, questions? Oh. Okay. Not sure. Let's look at the following one. We're going to be looking at section number 1.9. Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negatives, and short answers with used to. 
learn English phrases like, I used to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I'm very neat. And I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day. An oral English comprehension exercise is included. Listen, please. Listen. Sorry, teacher. Yes. Irma tiene una pregunta. Huh? Irma creo que tiene una duda. Irma. Yes, Irma. Do you have a question, Irma? Es que yo estaba viendo en uno de los videos que where eh, sería solo where you, pero decía who was you, hero, when you were a child. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí eh, me había confundido un poco. Ah, okay. Uh, who were your heroes when you were a child? Uh -huh. pero, pero no decía where, sino who was you, hero. Who was your hero when you were a child? Y who were your heroes when you were a child? Ok, so aquí la diferencia es que la primera es singular y la segunda es plural. Aquí hero uh -huh. está en singular, por eso se usa was. Aquí heroes está en plural, por eso se usa were. Ah, o sea que cuando esté en, en singular, perdón, o en plural, podemos usar el was. Yes. Solo cuando sea, uh, okay. Yes, yes. Another question? Sí, solamente. Okay. Anybody else? Alguien más? Okay, we're going to look at the video. Please listen. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to can everybody here Let me give you a couple of examples when i was a kid yes i used okay. to be very yes. Yes. Now I'm very okay. neat. i used to have a lot of hobbies but now i don't have any free time i didn't used to follow politics but now i read the newspapers every day you'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. 
The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past. Now it's going to be in the present, and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't, and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present, and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna I'm going to go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say, I didn't use to collect anything, but I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports, okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, So the subject plus never used to. And that's going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports. But now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what 
did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So for example, I never used to collect anything. Uh, yes, uh, Aleli, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, si vamos a usar el, you say to, mm -hmm. eso siempre lo vamos a ref, para referirnos siempre para lo que se había hecho o mm -hmm. que, y que ya no se hace. Correcto, correcto. Ok, mm -hmm. pero si vamos a trabajar en eso, si vamos a ocupar el pasado, mm -hmm. el verbo tiene que estar presente o pasado. Presente, cuando usamos el used to, you el say verbo, to? Ajá. es como que si tú dices yo solía coleccionar X-Men comic books, ya no lo hago, uh -huh. right? So okay. el verbo principal va a quedarse en su simple present, porque el used to representa ya el pasado, es un auxiliar okay. used to. Eso, eso quería preguntarle si solamente se va a ocupar como auxiliar uh -huh. y siendo parte de la oración, pero no uh -huh. afectando el verbo en su tiempo principal. That's right, that's right. El verbo principal se queda simple present. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, ok, thank you. Ok, thank you, Aleli. Uh, let me have Irma. Levantó la mano Irma. Sí, y para, para responder sería el used to, pero con D al final. Correcto, correcto. Si usted dice, por ejemplo, eh, yo solía jugar con carritos, right? Usted uh -huh. dice, I, I, I used, used to play with Toy cars, toy cars. Pero ahora ya no. But okay. now I play with video games. Okay. Pero yo solía jugar con carritos de juguete. Ahora juego videojuegos. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I would like for us to look at the next exercise, which is going to be coming from this section over here. Practice 111. 111. We're going to do that in pairs. We're going to change the groups. And let's go. Sí. Sí. Es, es. Porque acabamos de ver el video del 1.10, que es el anterior, que es el video que acabamos de ver. Y el, el, el ejemplo de, quiero ver, 1. Punto... Sí, es el 1. Punto... Del, del used to. Ajá. Y el using never, ¿verdad? Ajá, ese. El 1.11. Pero yo ya lo respondí completo. Si usted lo tiene sin responder, compártela para... Que se... eh, no, okay. yo ya lo tengo también. Entonces, cualquiera lo puede compartir. Ah, solo que yo no puedo compartir. No sé cómo se comparte. Voy a intentar. Yo no puedo mucho, pero ahorita veo. Eh, review the exercise number one, 
ustedes, Silvia? Ok. Where did Jerry grow up? She grew up in Britain, England. Okay. Number two, Irma. Did Jerry have a hobby? Jerry used to point and she still finds today. Okay. Number three, choose the best response for this question. What games did you use to play when you were, when you were a kid? The answer, I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Number four, Brian. Está Brian. Ah, pues Cecilia. Ok. Choose the best response to this question. What did you use to call it when you were a guy? A kid. A kid. I used to call it comic books when I was a kid. Ok. In number five. Si quiere la ley, Irma. Okay, my, la my last job was easy and relaxing. I used to work from 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday, Friday, Friday and had weekend off. Okay, uh, estas salieron correctas, así las tienen ustedes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yo ya, ya voy en la sesión 3. Bárbara. Okay. <risa> Excelente. Okay. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Apenas va a dar copia. <risa> ah, claro que sí. <risa> ok, solo si eso. Si me escriben a las 12, ahí estoy despierta todavía. <risa> Uy, chica, uh -huh. man. Bárbara. Cecilia. Hello. The teacher read the number. 1999, 1999. Sí. sí, así había escuchado yo, incluso en los, eh, en esas noticias que dan del CNN, así lo mm -hmm. leen. Es como que está más informal. Ajá. Quizá, ¿verdad? Porque mm -hmm. la tía la misma no... decía que no. Ajá, es que de esa forma como que es más serio, más formal. Va mm -hmm. a tú. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, finish. Finish. Okay. Leave break. All right. Let me have one volunteer. Read number one, please. One volunteer. Read number one, please. Erika Flores, number one. Please, number one. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Okay, Erica Flores, no. Uh, Aleli, number one. Okay. Where did Getty grab, grab up? Uh, she grew up in Brighton, England. Very good. Repeat, please. Grew up. Grew up. She grew up. Grew up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grew up. Ah, es que una es con O y una es con E. Grew up. It grow up. It uh -huh. grew up. Correct. Correct. Very okay. good. Very Thank good. Thank you. Thank you. Aleli. Cecilia, number two, please. Hi. Hello. Hello. Did Jerry have a hobby? Jerry used to paint and she still paints today. Perfect. 
Thank you. Cesar, number three. Excuse me, teacher. Hi. Jaime? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, Jaime. I have a question. What is your question? I have a question. Uh, the, in, the first que in the first question, where did Jerry grow up? Mm -hmm. uh, you you were you were talking about the the words grow and grew mm -hmm. grew up the pronunciation uh, my yes 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 exactly mm -hmm. yeah. what is the pronunciation uh -huh. okay. the simple present we say grow up simple past grow up. we say grew up grew grew, grew up. up grew up okay thank you teacher yes of course all right let me have number three number three please cesar alexander all right choose the best response for the for this question what game did you use to play when you were a kid i used it to play basketball on football when i was a kid excellent excellent correct good pronunciation number four emerson hi teacher hi choose the best response to this question what did you use to college when you were a kid a kid uh, a kid a kid i used to college coming book when i was a kid all right did anybody used to collect comic books when you were a kid? No. Nobody? I used to collect X-Men comic books. Um, I also used to collect X-Men Marvel Comics uh, cards. Do you collect comic? Yeah, when I was a kid. Now, no. Uh, my collection stayed in Houston, Texas. But I what had is a, your favorite hero? Uh, I think that my favorite mutant was Wolverine. Wolverine from the X-Men. That was my, my favorite one. But for Halloween, I'm going to wear the Adam Black costume. Do you know the new Wolverine. movie? No, no, the new movie Adam Black. Who Wolverine is Adam Emerson. Black? <laughs> Who is Adam Black? Hey, Adam Black is a new superhero. Um, have you seen? It's a new movie by The Rock. Oh, Black Adam. Black Adam, yeah, yeah, Black Adam. All right. <laughs> That's gonna be my costume for Halloween. <laughs> Do you like movie DC? Yeah. Hell yeah, Batman, Superman, hell yeah, I love it. DC Comics, Marvel Comics, I love it, I love it. Okay, Elvis, the last one, number five, Elvis. Number five, my last job was easy and relaxing. I used to work from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday and had weekend off. Excellent. Respond used to. Number used one. to. Number one is correct. Okay. Uh, any questions? Yo, in yo tengo una pregunta. Yeah. ¿Podría pronunciar despacio la manera de usar el used to? In pasado y el used to in present. Uh, it's almost the same pronunciation. If I say to you in the simple present, I use to, e, I use to, it's, it's the similar pronunciation because. It, when you have two pronounced words together, one is silent, right? In this case, 
the D is pronounced and the T is pronounced. So in this case, you don't pronounce the letter D. You say, I used to. I used to. You don't say, I used to. No pronunciation the, uh, D. Correct. No pronunciation right. the letter D. It's the same, the same pronunciation for present, same pronunciation for past. I got it. Okay, good question. Another question? Ah, okay. Gracias, Emerson. Eh, la razón por qué no puedo quitar las respuestas, guys, is because I'm giving this course in two different uh, schedules, and I only have one access to one platform. Sorry, Emerson. Okay, let's continue, guys. The last activity for today is going to be 1.12. Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form questions, statements, negatives, and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases like, what sports did you used to play when you were a kid? Did you used to collect things when you were a kid? And what did you used to do for fun when you were a kid? So. We're going to watch the video and then you will ask me questions. Ready? Listen. Hi, everyone. Me. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make questions using used to. We'll practice making yes and no questions and WH questions. For example, you'll be able to make questions such as What sports did you used to play when you were a child? Did you used to collect anything when you were a child? What kind of things did you used to do for fun when you were a kid? As I mentioned previously, what we're going to do in this class is we're going to learn how to form questions using used to. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating yes and no questions as the one that I'm circling there. Did you use to collect things? That's a yes or no question. And then the way to answer that, yes, I used to collect comic books, or no, I didn't use to collect anything. And also, we're going to learn how to create those WH questions with used to. Let me start by presenting the structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of the two questions that are here. As you can see, the first question is a yes or no question. And the second question, what sports did you use to play? That's an information question. That means that we have a WH word. So let's try to make sense of the first one first. Um, the um, yes or no questions don't have a WH word, and therefore start with did. So did you use to, and it follows the verb in the present, collect things did is the auxiliary that we're going to use and then that follows the subject in this case it happens to be you that is going to follow used to if you notice used to is not in the past it's in the present and then it's going to follow the verb in, in its present tense and then finally we'll have some sort of compliment and how do we answer this type of questions well we can either have a positive response such as yes I used to collect comic books or no, I didn't use to collect anything, but now I collect art. So let me try to give a couple of more examples and we're gonna continue to use that same structure. Um, we want to focus on doing yes and no questions at this moment, so let me ask you the following question. Did you used to listen to rock music, okay? 
did you I'm gonna say did you play sports in high school there we go now let me talk about creating WH questions as you can see that's the one at the bottom um, I mentioned that WH questions we use this kind of questions to ask for information and we'll borrow the example we'll borrow that question that you see there what sport did you use to play so let me go ahead and write that down what um, sports did you used to play sometimes we're gonna have a compliment sometimes we're not in this case we don't have a compliment but uh, what sports that's the WH word that follows auxiliary did and then after that we're gonna have a subject after that we're gonna have used to notice that used to is in the present and that follows the verb in its present form then sometimes you're gonna have a compliment sometimes you're not so let me write a couple of more questions here so that you can get the hang of it what uh, video games did you used to play when you were a kid okay that'll be another one so what video games that will be my WH word it follows the etc did subject is you used to and the verb in its present form and then whatever complement the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice making questions you're gonna make yes or no questions and also WH questions what I'm gonna do at this time is I'm gonna post some answers and what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up with the best possible question to the answers that are stated here you need to identify whether the answer is from a yes or no question or is it from a, a WH question and um, answer that accordingly okay so in this activity you guys are going to practice making questions with used to you're going to do it in your notebook you're going to write three questions using used to three questions using used to three questions using used to in your notebook. Okay. okay. The, the number one. One. Number one. Okay. Used to. One. Hi, used to. Seria. I used to. I used to. I used to. Que no, me, no me tinta, no me tinta este. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. <laughs> Con el ejemplo que dio el teacher, me voy a guiar. I used to with toy cars, but now I play with video games. Ese dijo el teacher, ¿verdad? Sí. Como, lo voy a no, es de, no, es, no es the question about the answer. No, I didn't call it stamps. No, es, 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 es,
No, ah, yo no okay. sé si fueron preguntas o u oraciones. Questions. Entonces, Questions. Questions. Um, what Questions. sports did you use to play? Bueno, esa es una de las que estaba ahí, ¿verdad? ¿no? Ah, sí. What sport did you used to For play? example, where did you... Where did you... Where did you... And you... Was a child, maybe? No. Mm -hmm. Re repeat. It's correct. Um, when did you uh, use used to go on? Uh -huh. It's correct. Where did you used to go on vacation? Oh. When you was a child, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> On vacation. Mm -hmm. With, with uh, the WH West World. Where did uh, Elvis? Where did Elvis, for example, where this did Elvis? Where did Elvis? Ahí se está formulando una. <risa> yo pensé que sí, ¿dónde estaba? No, 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 yo preguntándole. <risa> No, la, la primera que dijo Erika sí está bien. Está, where, está más o menos, where, ¿verdad? Where did you used to go on vacation when, when, when was a kid? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde solías ir de vacaciones cuando eras un niño? Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Ok, pensemos uh -huh. en otra. Eh, uh -huh. Ok. Vamos a ver. Elvis used, Elvis did, used to. Uh -huh. Did you used to cry when? Y solo son preguntas, no son, no son oraciones, no pueden ser este, como afirmativas o algo, no nada, solo preguntas. Sí, podría, podría. Ah. Ajá, agarrando el ejemplo de, 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 de Jerry, Elvis used to, uh, decía, Elvis used to paint and he still paint today. Elvis used to? Paint. Paint. And he still paint today. O sea, Elvis, su solía, ya te digo, espera. Ahorita, ahorita. Mejor te comparto mi pantalla. Ok. <ríe> Espérate, chele. O sea, yo me, estoy, yo me estoy basando en el ejemplo que tenemos en, en el que hicimos okay. con Jerry. Estoy tomando referencia a la, la, lo que hicimos con Jerry. Te lo voy a compartir. Uh -huh. para Aquí está. Oh, podría Aquí. ser tan... All right, guys, time's up, time's up. Remember, tomorrow we don't have class. We're going to have class until Monday. So we will see you on Monday. Please continue to advance or uh, work on the platform as much as possible. 
remember that there is no limit to the progress that you can take on the platform, right? You can continue advancing as much as you want. All right, guys, see you Monday. Good night. See you on Monday, guys. Um, see you Monday. What? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, What's hey. happening? Okay. What's happening? I <laughs> understand. understand. Yes. <laughs> I don't understand. We're finished. Until <laughs> Monday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay, finish. Oh, my God. <laughs> see you. See you. Monday. See you. See you. Monday. <laughs> oh, my God. The person. <laughs> my God.